Hello. I often find that God speaks to me through through nature, through creation, through being out in his, his lovely created world where um, if, you, if you have the eyes to see it, there, there's, there are things all around us which speak to um, the truth of his word and his, his nature and character. I'm recently back from a week in Cornwall. We were staying in a holiday cottage right on the coast and it was one of those typical autumn weeks of weather with a mixture of sunshine but also some really stormy days and high winds. And one day in particular that the, we were walking along the coast and, and we went out on to a promontory just to watch uh, the waves and um, it, it was, the, the tide was particularly high and there was a huge swell and there was a very strong wind and these enormous waves were crashing in onto the rocks uh, just off the headland. And I, was, I sensed the Lord whispering, as, as, you know, it's a small voice in the midst of the storm, isn't it? I sensed the Lord whispering to me, I am that rock, um, I am your rock. No matter how powerful the storm, how fierce and um, powerful the waves crashing in upon you, um, I am immovable. And if you're clinging to me, you too are immovable. And just down below the, the, the promontory, uh, there's, there's an inlet where um, the, the, the land almost funnels the water up to a small um, jetty and causeway. It's a place called Port Gavern. And seeing that the, the, the huge swell and the waves come crashing in and funneled in to, to this, this, this narrowing, um, sort of inlet, you get a huge movement of water. Um, it goes right up to the, uh, to the slipway. And then as, as, as the, the waves recede and, and you, you, you get the, the, kind of the, the, the back pull, um, the water goes out quite a long way before the next surge and, and, and waves come crashing in. And I stood there watching this for a while and was just awestruck really at the, at the, the undertow that you could see on the sand, the, the, the sort of mixed sandy, pebbly um, beach as, as the water kind of su was sucked out and then thrown back onto the beach. And anyone standing in that water, although it, may, it wasn't, wouldn't have been particularly deep in places, I, I, there's no doubt that, that they wouldn't have been able to stay standing. Such was the power of that undertow and then the, the, the crash of the swell as it came back in up on as far as the slipway. And I was reminded again of, um, of something else Jesus said about building a house on the rock as opposed to the sand. Um, and you know, we're in a time of, of great storm at the moment. There, there seems to be so much going on around us nationally, let alone in our own personal lives. And, and sooner or later, we're going to face storms uh, individually. Um, and it's just so comforting and reassuring to know that Jesus is our rock, that if we're standing on him, if we've built our life on him, and if we're clinging to him in those, those difficult times, that we will not be moved. No matter how powerful the sea, how powerful and, and threatening those, those breakers and those waves and that swell, it cannot overcome us. The sea in scriptures um, often uses a picture for, for the chaos of, of the world, of creation, of sin and, and uh, of the, of the spiritual side of it, the, the, kind of the, the spiritual, sinister spiritual forces. Um, and, and we can be reassured that if we're in Christ, we are immovable. I love Augustus Top Lady's uh, hymn with these wonderful words, rock of ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Let's hide ourselves in Jesus. Let's cling to him in those storms of life and we will not be shaken. We will get through and the storms will ultimately pass. Thank you. God bless.